What's up guys? Today I want to talk about a little bit of a serious topic and that's the question of is depression really real inside of entrepreneurship? We'll be talking about that coming up next. Hey, what's up guys? It's Diana here with the Passion of Business TV Network, helping you transition your passion into a business. And part of doing that sometimes is having the difficult conversation of is depression really something real that we have to deal with in entrepreneurship? And the answer is yes. I say that because sometimes we like to seem like, or even if you're looking at some of the other videos on the channel, is you think that everything is kind of quote unquote happy go lucky. And so while there are many, many benefits of being an entrepreneur, entrepreneur and starting your business, there are also some pitfalls. You may not get the client that you hope for. You may not get the money that you hope for, or you, maybe people, somebody shortcut you or ripped you off. You know, the same things that happen to you in your regular life are the same things that happen to us in our business. And sometimes we have to be wise enough to realize what's actually taking place and actually be prepared for that. And so one of the things, like I said, is, you know, getting depressed, feeling down and really feeling down and out about the things that are going on in our life. And those things do impact us in our business. And so the reason why I wanted to bring this up is because one, there's been an influx in people that are just uh, not getting the necessary help that they need, not feeling comfortable doing that. And so I wanted to open up today and actually let you guys know about a difficult time that I experienced. And even though I hadn't yet even had the idea of starting a business, I actually got into a very bad depressive state uh, and actually just started to uh, detract, to detract away from my friends. I actually had a niece and she passed away and I'm big auntie if you guys know or listen to any of the things that I do then you know that I have over 20 nieces and nephews, 20 nieces and nephews. And so that's a lot, you know, that's a lot. I don't have my own children, but I actually have a lot of nieces and nephews and a big family. So my family means a lot to me. And so to lose a child, lose someone that I've cared for, that I've cared about, it's extremely, extremely difficult to deal with that. And sometimes our challenges carry over into our lives and they carry on into an adulthood. And so it got to the point to where I was just like really bad, bad in the headspace, was drinking a lot, smoking a lot, doing a lot of things that I actually had no business doing. And I just started to detract personally and just, I just didn't mentally want to be uh, in that situation. I didn't want to feel like it was real. I didn't want to feel like, you know, any of the things that I was dealing with were there. I didn't want to feel the pain. I didn't want to feel, uh, you know, just my heart in my throat and just feel like, you know, somebody has a vice around me. And it, it was just extremely, extremely a lot of press, pressure. It was a very stressful time. And I just, you know, it, it, I don't even know how long it went on. Honestly, it just continued on for so long and weeks turned into months, months turned into almost a year that I was doing this to myself. And so it got to the point to where I finally woke up super early one morning. Uh, nobody else that was around me was up. And so I went out and I went for a walk uh, and I just went, I don't even know how long of a walk I went on. It could have been a mile or two. And I was just walking and I was just thinking and I got to the point and I finally burst out into tears and I started crying. It's because I just finally had a break, uh, a, a mental break in just my emotions and just in everything. And I decided I was walking, I was on campus at the time and I decided to, well, I found myself walking past uh, one of the help stations or help aides uh, on the school, found myself walking into the counselor's office and I was actually able to get the help that I needed. And so even though, like I said, that was years ago and I had to work through the different ex di different exercises that were very difficult because a lot of times when we have a problem and that'll represent in my fist, we just pack layers on top of layers on top of layers of things and we just cover it up and we don't deal with it. And when you don't deal with something, it just makes it that much harder when you have to rip those layers off and get to the root problem of what's actually taking place. And so even though, like I said, I dealt with that and it's been other challenges, other things that have happened that kind of cause you to maybe kind of want to fall back and just detract. But I would encourage you don't do that. The first thing I would say is reach out for help. Reach out for help, go to a counselor and don't feel bad about going to a therapist, going to a psychiatrist, going to a counselor. It doesn't matter. Their goal is the same as your goal, to get you in a better mental state and never feel bad or, or um, embarrassed about doing that. Uh, yes, you want to make sure that you have a spirit, spiritual connection in your life. Um, for me, that was just reaching out to God for help. 
And so that was something that was incredibly, incredibly uh, strengthening in my life and has continued on. And it's something that I actually just recently shared with my youth group. Uh, like I said, if you follow me on Facebook or email service or whatever, you know, then you're able to see some of the different stories that I share on there. And this was one of them. I shared this with my youth group and they were just kind of blown away. Y'all, Miss Diana, you were doing this or you drank like that. And it's just like, yeah, it got that bad. I had to go to counseling to get help to get back on a, uh, on a better state. And so with that being said, like I said, never feel bad about having to go get help and deal with that. So to bring that back home in dealing with entrepreneurship, yeah, it gets tough. Yeah, it gets, there are some times where you just, your personal life just kind of falls face forward onto your business and it's hard to get up off of that. And so the first thing that I would encourage you to do, like I said, reach out if you're really having challenges mentally, uh, emotionally, being stable, uh, or maybe just crying a lot or, or whatever the case may be, if you just don't feel right, it's okay, it's okay. Go and get the necessary help that you need and I'll actually link up for a helpline uh, down below. Not affili affiliated with them or anything like that, but as an entrepreneur, as a coach, as a friend, then I would encourage you to go ahead, get the necessary help that you may need to deal with that. And then secondly, like I said, always be learning, always be doing something to build and encourage yourself up. A lot of times we're holding on to a lot of bad things. As you may speak with a counselor, some of the things that, that I deal with mine is you have to do things to release that and let it go. And so, and be okay with letting that go, write it down, throw it away you know, or just finally get it out, record it, and then throw it away. <laughs> Whatever it is that you may need to do to purge it, get it out and get rid of it. But the thing with that is as you're getting rid of something, you have to be able to replace it and put something back in its place. And you want to do that with great positive information. So I'll link up a link down below for audiobooks, or you can find a lot of different stuff actually just on YouTube for free. And so just different things that you may be dealing with, and it's super, super helpful to help you get going. So again, is depression real in business? Absolutely. Is depression real in real life? Absolutely. And there's nothing wrong with getting the necessary help that you need to live a better life. So hopefully this video was able to help you, even if, like I said, if it's a, those dark times, a lot of times it's in the middle of the night when nobody's around, when nobody's looking, that we experience these challenges and difficulties and we're not okay with telling somebody about it. But again, I would encourage you reach out for help if you need to, or go ahead and call the number below, but do whatever it is that you need to do to get yourself to a healthy mental state so you can run and operate the business that you love. So take care. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.